In the previous example problem, what we did is we looked at the hydrogen emission spectrum, but in that case, we looked at the Balmer series. Now we're going to be looking at the Poshin series. We're going to use, once again, the exact same equation we used before. Uh, 1 over lambda is equal to R, which is going to be Rydberg's constant, which is 1.097 times 10 to the 7th inverse meters times the quantity 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over n squared. So in the Balmer series, we went down to the second uh, orbital. Here we're only going down to the third orbital. Now the interesting thing about this is, is that you start with the nucleus and you go further and further and further away from the nucleus at the different orbitals, those orbitals actually get closer and closer together. So the distance between the fourth orbital and the third orbital is smaller than the distance between the third orbital and the second orbital. And so this question says as such, the Poshin series is the spectrum of the hydrogen of hydrogen involves transitions that end up onto the third level. Determine the wavelength of the first two members of the Poshin series. B, in what part of the spectrum do, do the wavelengths lie? So if we're looking at the first member, then N, the N we have here is going to be equal to 4. It's going to be equal to 4. And so we have 1 over lambda is equal to 1.097 times 10 to the 7th inverse meter times 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared. Now that is all equal to Got to get my note, sorry. That is equal to 5.33263 times 10. Oops, not, not times 10, I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, let's put a comma there. Sorry, put a comma there. Inverse meters. So therefore... If we take the inverse here and we take the inverse there, we end up getting 1.875 micrometers. Or to put it in terms of nanometers, which is what we saw in the last problem, this would be 1,875 nanometers. Now the portion of the spectrum for this is going to be the infrared. It's going to be the infrared. Now, if we're going to look at the second uh, member, in that case, n is going to be equal to 5. And so we simply plug our 5 in for here. So we get 1 over lambda is equal to r times 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 5 squared. Once again, our r is going to be 1.097 times 10 to the 7th inverse meters. We do the calculation here, and we get 7.804 times 10 to the fifth inverse meter. We take the inverse here, we take the inverse there, and what we end up getting is we get 1.281 microns, or 1,281 nanometers. And once again, this is going to be in the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. So what you can see here is, is, <clears throat> is these levels are getting closer and closer and closer together. Now, 3 and 4 are going to be closer than 3 and 5. Thus, the reason you see an increase in the wavelength or a decrease in the energy. Now the distance between the fifth orbit and the third orbit is going to be greater than the distance between the fourth and the third. Thus the reason for the decrease in the wavelength or the increase in the energy of the photon that gets emitted from that. If you have any questions on this, please let me know.